Hey guys, what's up? Crafty Sheep here with another episode of Crafty Commands. This is episode 4 in my command block tutorial series. Today, we're going to be going over the set block command. And to do that, I'm going to be showing you how to make a trash can. I know it's not the most thrilling thing in the world, but it will do for the purposes of today's tutorial. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first thing we're going to do is go over here and grab a couple of command blocks. We're going to start with the impulse block. Ooh, that was scary. Scary ambiance. Uh, the impulse block is always a good block to start with when trying to understand how certain commands work because it only goes off once. So let's just drop this bad boy down right here. Now I'm going to show you what the set block command does first and then we're going to use it to make our trash can. The set block command works a lot like the fill command, but it only affects one block, not an area of blocks. If you don't know how to use the fill command, check out my previous videos on it. Like I said though, it only affects one block. For example, let's go ahead and turn a piece of wood into gold. So we're just going to grab a piece of wood, regular little wood planks, and we're going to slap them down right here. Now we're going to log the coordinates of this wood in the chat. Always a good place to keep them. So the wood is going to be right here. If you recall in my other videos, the coordinates that you log that are up in the in the corner there are always the bottom half of your body. So this is what we're going to log. It's going to be 1672. 1672. 70. And 510. 510. Now we're going to go over to our command block over here and we're going to type in the command. We're going to go slash set block. We're going to enter our coordinates. We only need one set of coordinates because it's only affecting one block. So it's going to be 167270, 167270, and I believe it was 510. So let's check. Uh, 510, yes, okay. And then after our coordinates are logged, we need to tell the command block what block we're changing this to, what we're setting the block as. So we're going to go gold block. Okay, and that should do it. Now, it would help if I had 1672, 7510. Okay, put the block back. There we go. Now let's pop a button on here and see what happens. Button. And voila! Gold! Now I'm going to show you how to use this command to make a trash can. We're going to use a repeating command block, a barrel, and a few redstone components for our trash can. So let's go ahead and grab what we need and get started. I'm going to Clear my hotbar, even though I shouldn't have done that, because I need that repeating command block, but that's okay. We're going to need a comparator. We're going to need a repeater. We're going to need a barrel. Wherever the barrel is, we're going to need a barrel do, 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 and a command block. So let me run back over here real quick and just pick block this. Okay. Now we have everything we need. Do we? No. We need some hoppers. Definitely need some hoppers. So let's grab some hoppers. So we're going to get rid of that block. We don't need that. So the first thing we're going to do is dig down by three. One, two, three. We're going to put a barrel here. And we're going to put a hopper going into that barrel. Another hopper going into that hopper, and a barrel right on top. Then we're going to go over here, and we're going to dig this out just a little bit. Right? The second hopper here, we're going to have a comparator coming out of it. And then we're going to have a repeater coming out of that. That way, when anything goes into this top barrel, it'll go down to this hopper, it'll go to that hopper, and then it will power that comparator which will, in turn, the signal 
from the repeater will extend that signal. I'm using a repeater because the redstone signal for comparators is so small. It may work without it. Uh, if you want to test it and let me know down in the comments if this, this trash can system works without the uh, repeater. But I just like to use it. And we're going to pop down our command block right here. And we're going to go into it. We're going to check the settings. Make sure all the settings are right. We want it on repeat. We want it on conditional. And we want it to need redstone. So we're going to type inside here, set block. Okay. All right. Now, if you guys have watched my other episodes I showed you guys how to log coordinates using the tilde uh, if you don't know how to do that go back and and look at that video so that uh, you understand what I'm doing here but using tilde you can log coordinates uh, that are in conjunction to where the command block is so what this whole system is going to do is items are going to flow down in the system they're going to hit that bottom barrel when they hit that hopper it's going to power this this is going to take that bottom barrel and it's going to replace it with an empty barrel that's all it does and since it's a repeat command block as long as it has power so as long as items are flowing through this system then it will continuously over and over and over again replace that barrel with an empty barrel so we need to figure out exactly where that barrel is in relation to this command block so the first thing the first coordinate we're gonna log is I think the Y no uh, we're gonna log the first coordinate that's what we're gonna do so from the command block it is over two let's see and if you look in the left hand corner where the coordinates are, it's changing from 74 to 73, and it would be 72. So it would be three blocks, 74, 73, 72. So minus three blocks for that coordinate. And the barrel is one down from the command block. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to use tilde minus three. Okay, another tilde for the y coordinate, which is minus 1, and then a regular tilde, and you don't put anything there, because it's on the same z coordinate. And then, we're just going to type barrel. Barrel. Okay, so essentially, this should work. This should be it, this should be all we need. So let's just drop some items in here. Just going to put 64 of those. Okay, so it's powering that. It says the block couldn't be placed. Hmm. Is there actually a problem, or does it just say there's a problem? Nope. There is no problem. As you can see, as the items are flowing into there, it is constantly replacing it with a new empty barrel, empty barrel, empty barrel, empty barrel, empty barrel. This is essentially how the trash can works. You cannot always trust the previous output box. It's saying the block couldn't be placed because at some point there's an empty barrel there. And this thing goes off 20 times a second. So that's why it's giving you that output. So it's always good to check the mechanism and not necessarily rely on the previous output. output. But this is working. And that way, it doesn't matter how many items you put in here, you can put 100,000 items in there. It will all go down into that barrel, and that barrel will get replaced as long as there's items flowing through the system. So we can just close this up if we want to. Go ahead and replace that, and this is our trash can. Now, if you want to do cutesy little things, I mean... I would, what I would end up doing is decorating this a little bit, and I would probably rename this barrel. Let's rename it to trash can. None of this stuff has anything to do with anything but aesthetics from this point. So, this is just me being me. So, I would name it trash can because certain objects, barrels being one of them, 
if you rename it, you go in there and you look up here. It, it says trash can, which is kind of cool. And, you know, maybe put, I don't know, some trap doors around it. Make it all fancy looking. Just make sure you leave the room at the top so people can <laughs> put stuff in it. But that is essentially it, ladies and gentlemen. The set block command is a very, very, very simple command. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I do my best to get back to everybody. So, I think that's going to about wrap it for this episode, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. You stay tuned, and you stay crafty. Bye!